Hey, what's up, guys? It's Banu here from Android.com, and this is the Huawei Nova 4. Why this smartphone is a bit special is because this is one of the world's first smartphones to be rocking the latest punch hole display. So in this video, let's go ahead and unbox this. So I have a seal box over here. Let's go ahead and unbox this and see what comes inside the box. And let's explore the Nova 4 and the punch hole tech. If you are excited for that, definitely go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. And let's get started. Here we have the retail box of the Huawei Nova 4 and at the front of the box and on either side it says Huawei Nova 4. Turn in the box around you can see that this device is indeed a sealed box. And having a look at the bottom of the box we can see the model number and some of the specifications along with the EV number and all of that other good stuff. The Nova 4 is a special phone because it packs a punch hole display. So without wasting any more time let's break this box up and get the Huawei Nova 4 out of the box. So I'll be using my trusty unboxing knife to break open the seal of the Nova 4 and here we see the device sitting right there on top. The box mentions that this is the blue color variant of the device but for me it looks quite similar to the twilight color or the iris color of the Huawei Nova 3. Anyway, we'll explore the device a bit later. Keeping the device to the side for just a sec, we can find the IMI number details. Lifting up the cover, we can find another small pouch which has a SIM ejector tool. And opening it up, we'll first of all reveal the Huawei warranty card and the TPU case that is included in the box. Next, we find the wall adapter that is capable of quick charge that is included in the box. And along with that, we find a USB type A to USB type C cable, which will be used to charge the phone up. We also get some good earphones with the Huawei Nova 4, and these are quite similar in appearance to Apple's earpods. And fortunately for those of you who are thinking about using a dongle, you really won't have to use a dongle here because the Nova 4 actually has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Well, that's all about the contents inside the box. Now, without wasting any more time, let's peel off this plastic and explore the Huawei Nova 4. After getting rid of all the plastic, let's quickly boot this bad boy up. Alright, so now we are booted and we can now get a very good look at the punch hole display of the Nova 4. All the hype about this phone is mainly because of the punch hole display. To keep this video short and simple, I'm not gonna go through the setup process of the Nova 4 in this video. However, if you are interested in checking out the setup process of the Nova 4, I'll have a dedicated video just for that tomorrow so you guys can come and check that out if you guys are interested. The Nova 4 packs a 6.4 inch IPS LCD Full HD Plus display and it has a punch hole like you guys already saw. Because of the punch hole, now we have more screen to body ratio and the design of the phone looks quite similar to the Huawei Nova 3. Even from the back, we can still find the fingerprint scanner. However, the addition here is the third camera sensor that is there at the back. Talking about the camera sensors, the Nova 4 packs a 20 megapixel primary camera, a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a 16 megapixel wide angle camera. Some variants of this phone also packs a 48 megapixel sensor at the back. However, the version that will be coming to Sri Lanka will only be packing 20 megapixels. Now let's quickly go over the phone starting from the bottom. First off, we have a microphone along with a USB type C port and the speakers. On the right hand side, we have the volume rockers along with the power button. And at the top, we have a secondary noise cancellation microphone the proximity sensor and the 3.5 mm headphone jack. And finally on the left hand side we find the SIM tray. In order to accommodate the full display at the front of the Nova 4, we have the punch hole display on the top left hand side and the earpiece has been moved to the top of the phone. So if you look closely you can see the earpiece over there. And the best part is Huawei has somehow crammed in a notification LED light to the left side of the earpiece. 
Apart from that, the front is all display. We have a narrow bezel at the bottom of the phone. And if you're wondering where the proximity sensors are, the sensors are right there at the top. The metal and glass design of the Nova 4 looks really nice and premium. And I'm a really big fan of the color like I have mentioned before. However, upon close inspection, the color at the back of the Nova 4 isn't the same as the color of the Nova 3. So here I have the twilight color of the Huawei Nova 3 on the left hand side and the Nova 4 is there on the right hand side. And in this you can clearly see the blue color on the Nova 4 is much lighter than the blue color on the Nova 3. When comparing the Nova 3 to the Nova 4, the main addition is the punch hole. The notch is gone. Now we have the punch hole. So this is going to be a part of many of the smartphones that are going to drop in 2019. So if you want to be a part of the latest trends of 2019, then the Nova 4 could be for you. Now for those of you who are interested, here's a quick rundown of all the important specifications of the Huawei Nova 4. So we have a 6.4 inch display. 3750 mAh battery, 8GB of RAM, 128GB of internal storage, triple cameras at the back, a 25MP selfie camera. This is all powered by the Kirin 970 processor. Unfortunately, that's the sad part because when the 980 is already available, Huawei has for some reason decided to go with the 970 here on the Nova 4. That could be a way to cut the cost of the device because the Nova 4 is targeted as a mid-range device and it is expected to be available here in Sri Lanka in about a month or so for a price slightly higher than the current pricing of the Nova 3. Huawei Sri Lanka told me that they still haven't finalized the pricing of this device yet and I just wanted to bring you guys this video as soon as possible so that you guys can get to know about this device even before it is launched. I've actually been using the Nova 4 for about two weeks now and it has been pretty good so far. If you guys want a dedicated full review of this device, let me know and I'll surely make that happen. Well guys, that's the Huawei Nova 4. Let me know what you guys think about the Nova 4 down below by dropping a comment and definitely share this video with all your friends all over social media and definitely stay tuned right here on YouTube for more awesome tech videos just like this. If you have any video suggestions featuring the Nova 4, definitely let me know. And also follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes and updates as well as all the camera samples and whatnot featuring the Nova 4 and all the other devices that I test right here on Android Dollar. You can find all the links down below in the description and stay tuned to AndroidDollar.com for all the latest from the tech world. If you haven't subscribed to me already, definitely go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. And until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu, signing off.